Okay then, here we are with our sexy looking Spitfire, um, but it's missing its nose cone, or this little chappy, so we're going to create that. We'll use a cone, being as it is a cone, that just makes sense, and we're just going to create a very standard looking cone to get us going. Um, I'll rename it Nose, and then I'll just start rotating it on this axis so I can see which one it is. It's X, type 19 to that box, and now I can start positioning this in my different views. So get my move tool on, put that sort of roughly in the right place there. Um, use the, the top view as well just to get it as close to being lined up as I can. So yeah, and then I think the rest of the work just needs to happen in this view, in my side view. So <coughs> I'll do this all here. Let's get just the tip of this nose as close to perfect as I can and then I need it in vertex mode select this edge and move these as well now it's important that you scale uniformly um, using this middle one for this exercise if you just scale from this top one it'll not stay cylindrical which is what you need I speak from experience because this is now the second time I'm recording this video because I've just cocked it up myself so make sure you draw, uh, grab from the middle. Hopefully I remember to do it this time. So there we go. So that'll do it for a beginning. Then I'm going to put it into face mode. Oh, there you go. I'll try to. And then um, let's frame this up over here. So I can just select this face here. And I just need to extrude this out a few times. So I'm going to click on my extrude tool, change my manipulator, and extrude it out once. Extrude again, change my manipulator, extrude out again, third time, change, yep, and uh, one more for luck. Okay, put that one there. So that's now ready to go. So into the side view, vertex mode on, and then we'll get these resized. So I'll have to do this one row at a time and remember to drag from the middle so one two three and four there we go so that when I change back to perspective should be looking okay I think it is so yeah, that isn't bad. I just think it needs repositioning ever so slightly. Uh, think that's okay. And then normals soften edge. Okay, now you'll notice here that there's a shade increase. Uh, I can get rid of that just by deleting that face inside of this. I don't like the shade increase, it looks a bit daft. So back into face mode, delete that face, and that shade increase should then disappear. Which it has. And I can just put this back on the front of the plane. Like that. Okay, so far so good. Okay, the last thing we need to do is um, get some propellers on this. And then we have completed it.